it's Caroline, and today I'm coming in to film a hurt foot circuit workout. This workout is designed to help you stay strong, maintain lean muscle mass, and keep your sanity when you're recovering from a foot or lower leg injury. As always, please, please ask your doctor before starting this or any exercise routine. Honor your body and listen to it. If it tells you that a move isn't right for you right now, don't do it. Be smart and make healing your number one priority. I recommend watching this routine all the way through so you can make sure to eliminate moves that might not be right for you yet. And to breathe, to think positive, to stay strong, and to have a fabulous time. Before we get started, I want to let you know that I am currently in the works of creating a full Hurt Foot Fitness online course. It has workouts, nutrition, sleep, digestion, stress management, and of course, my positivity strategies to help you recover from an injury and feel your very best. So if you wanna be part of this comprehensive online Hurt Foot coaching course and stay positive and fit while you heal from a foot or lower leg injury, I'll include the link in the description below Make sure to check that out, and I would be honored to coach with you. But of course, first, I want to get you sweaty. So, are you ready for this hurt foot circuit workout? This one is going to be tough, my friend. When you're ready to get started, I want you to lay down onto your back. Bring your feet carefully into a butterfly position with your knees open and as wide as you'd like. You're going to touch your hands outside your toes, and ready? We're doing a hurt foot butterfly sit up. Here we go. Bring it all the way down and up. Now these are really great, especially if you've been sitting a lot, because check it out, they open your hips and let you get a fabulous ab exercise in without straining your hip flexors, which chances are if you're coming back from a hurt foot, those things are getting real tight on you. So let's open them up, get you going, and whoop, you should be sweating. Make sure to keep your neck nice and long, and smile and breathe, because like I said at the beginning, that's essential to your success. All right, we're almost there. Stay with me with this sit-up. Go slower if you need to. Try two more. And last one. Whew, sweating already. Lower all the way down and lift your legs up in the air. Good, from here I want you to drop one leg and the other leg. Start slow to check in to see how you feel. And if you feel up to it, we're just gonna pick up the speed. Now you know when you're healing, sometimes your body gets tight and hungry for movement. So these exercises can help you get some movement in that don't place stress on your injury. Pull your tummy in nice and tight, and I want you to stay with me, keep breathing, press the small of your back into the mat. Keep it for four, three, two, and one. Knees to tabletop, hands behind your head. Scoop it up, shoulders off the mat, and twist. Little bit of a bicycle. Gosh, I love doing abs. Hurt foot or not, the bicycle is one of my favorite workout moves. Open up those elbows, keep the chin away from your chest, and stay with it for three, two, and one. Hands behind your knees, scoop your stomach again, roll yourself up to a V-sit position. Check that out, non-weight bearing, you're welcome. Now reach your arms out, shoulders back and down. You're going to go down into the mat and lift up. Let's just do 10. So one. Now if this is too much, you can keep the legs on the floor and do just your spine, lifting and lowering. As long as you're not hurting that foot of yours, we're good to go. Breathe. This is hard. I'm having a good time. Last two. Last one. Hold. Whew. Carefully take yourself to tabletop position. Got to be careful. If you're still in your boot, please transition safely. Be smart. We don't have time for you to not be smart. 
Now, reach your right arm and your left leg out and hold. I want you to take the right arm and left leg down and lift. Now, try not to let your toe come down to the floor. Engage your upper back and pull your ribs in nice and tight. Right now, you should feel your glutes and your hamstrings and your abs, your upper back, your shoulders. Who says you can't get a great workout with a hurt foot? Just two more, hold it here. Take your right hand behind your head, bring your left knee in towards your other knee. Open it to the side and out. We call this dog and fire hydrant. Dog and fire hydrant is a fabulous move for your abs, for your hips, and the addition of this hand behind my head makes this move really advanced. Stay with me, we're almost there with these hips. Breathing is strong, tummy is tight. Last one. Take your right hand down. Pulse your left leg up and down, up to the sky and down. Today I'm wearing sneakers because my foot's still not in the place where it wants to be barefoot. And good news, I love my sneakers. So I'm gonna keep these shoes on. If you're in your boot or your cast, hopefully these moves still work with you. Leave me a comment below and let me know. Keep pushing that left heel up to the sky. Your butt should be burning by now. Give me two more. Hold it up. Pulse. Whew. Again, doing the lower body. Even though you can't place any weight on your foot or ankle, you're still getting a good workout. I'm sweating. I hope you are too. Keep your tummy in. Nice long neck. Think positive. Four, three, Two, hold it up. Now extend, bend. So doing some of these body weight muscle moves can help you get some movement, feel some things, squeeze that booty. You're almost there. Can you keep your spine super long? Oh wow, I love this a lot. Two, and last one. Nice job, let's switch to the other side. So you're going to reach your right leg out and your left arm long, lower it and lift it. Being very mindful of the range of motion, trying to again not sink in your spine. Don't do this dip. Keep your tummy in. We want your core to get stronger from this injury. Your mind will get stronger too. Keep staying with me. Lift nice and long. Breathe. Oh gosh, I love this exercise. It feels so good. Almost there. Hold. Take your left hand behind your head. Your right knee in. And open and close. This move is pretty advanced. So if you struggle with it at first, don't be hard on yourself. You're not here to be hard on yourself. You're here to be self-compassionate and self-loving so that you can heal because that's important. Now, try not to sink. Lift out that shoulder. Lift into your abs. Feel your butt working. Life is happening right now. We're moving. We're sweating. Whew, we're feeling pretty good about life. Stay with it. And hold. Bring your left hand to the floor. Right knee down and lift and lower. This exercise for me, I tend to dip into my back. So I have to be super mindful to keep my abs in tight. Less range of motion is fine, especially if your form is still really good. Don't sacrifice quality for intensity. Always move smart. That's what I want to teach you, how to move well, so that you can move well for the rest of your life. Stay with it, we're almost there. We're gonna pulse here in four. Oh my gosh, my butt loves you so much. Hold it up, pulse little squeeze. I want you to think about putting a footprint on the ceiling and think baby steps towards healing success. Baby steps towards healing success. Nice strong butt burn. So good. Tummy in nice and tight. And hold. Flex and bend. Again, thinking about posture, try not to get tired so that your form suffers. Sometimes the longer the workout gets, the more our form gets poopy.
be. So we don't actually want to work out for a long time, we want to work out for a quality time. Less is more when more is better. Ooh, write that down somewhere. Keep breathing. Okay, my butt's on fire. Last one, put it down, take a moment, lay down the mat. We're going to do push-ups, modified push-ups. You bring your hands in twice towards your chest, you bend your knees, flex your feet if you can. If you can't, just let them hang there, do what you can do. Pull your belly in, nice long neck, take a deep breath in, exhale, push-up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, ooh, this is hard. Exhale, level a lot. Inhale, exhale, keep going. I want to hear you breathing all the way through the screen. Give it four more and push. Three, nice, strong upper body. Last one, lay back down. Take your hands underneath your head. Lift your legs up off the floor and just open and close the legs. So you're feeling hamstrings and glutes. Keep breathing. Just five, four, ooh, I love this exercise. And one, hold. Now lift your upper body up, hold the legs, reach the arms long and in. So it's kind of like you're swimming. Shoulders down, you should feel your butt. Do you feel your butt? I feel my butt. I love feeling my butt. Strong butt equals a strong life. Write that one down as well. Four more. We're almost there. Three. Squeeze shoulders back. Two. Last one. Good. Slide your hands by your chest. Lower your legs. Bend your knees. Squeeze your heels. Shoulders back and down. Inhale. And push the floor away. So, if this workout today is the only workout you have time for, or energy for, I want you to be proud of yourself for coming, showing up, and moving well. And yes, that's right, we're still doing push-ups. I feel this. Drive the elbows back. You've got four more. Oh, try not to get sloppy. I'm getting there. I think two more is my max. Last one, chest touches the ground every time. Lower down, reach the arms, reach the legs, lift. And this time, pull elbows back. So, like a lap pull down, squeeze your butt and hamstrings. Lift your legs off the floor. You're doing great, I'm so proud of you. I want you to stay with me. You're awesome for being here. So strong. You've got four and three, two more, my friend. Last one. Good, safely and carefully, push yourself back up. Roll onto your side, lay all the way down, bring both legs out. If you can, stack your hips, lift and lower. So now we're getting a little bit of obliques. Try not to rock forward and back. Use your core muscles. You can relax your neck. That feels good. Stay with me. Feeling abs right now. I'm so in love with this sports bra. It's so new and fun and fresh. Two more. One, hold it up. Now all I want you to do is switch the legs. So we're getting everything today. Abs and butt and hips and positive mindset. Because movement helps with that, right? Exercise helps me mentally stay sane and happy and present in my life. Stay with me. I'm feeling my abs. I'm working it out. Three, two, three. And one, good. Bend your knees, slide your bottom elbow underneath your shoulder, elbow underneath shoulder, knees on the mat, lift your hips up. So it looks like a modified side plank, which is great. Now, top leg up. Good, flex that top leg, push your hips forward, sip your belly in, and smile. Because you know, smiling is very advanced. Hold it here. Now if you want to add a little spice to it, and this is where you're like, who says that if you have a hurt foot, you can't work out? I am working out right now. I feel both butt cheeks. I feel my abs. I feel happy. I'm more at peace. I'm less stressed. All good things for healing, my friend. 
We'll talk about that in my Kurt Foot course. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun to have you. Okay, hang on. Almost there. Breathe and rest. Carefully, you're just going to take your legs and swing them around. And then lay all the way down. We've got to do the second side. Because lucky for you, you've got two sides to do. Stack your hips, lift your legs, and we're just going to carefully lift and lower. Now again, it's really important you listen to your body. And isn't that the best part about injury is that you get to be more mindful of your body. You get to know your body better. What feels good, what doesn't. How to help yourself heal. Almost there. This side is harder. I think that's how it works on side two, huh? Uh, we gotta do those little kicks in two. Okay, last one, hold. Now just forward and back. Like you're running in place. Maybe you're a runner and you miss running. Put that into action now. You're just floor running. You're still running. You haven't lost it yet. Good, stay with it and breathe. Oh man, can you not let your neck relax a little bit? Don't get that guy tight. We need you to have a nice long neck. Almost there. I feel my hips already. And we're doing star plank in two. And one. Okay, nice, bend your knees. Prop yourself up on your elbow. Get ready, lift your waist and come on up. Top arm up, ready, top leg. Cool. Be brave, my friend, be brave. Zip the tummy in, squeeze your butt, hold. If you want it, we're gonna do a little swim. And just right now, you're gonna think about bunnies and unicorns and happy things. Don't think any negative thoughts, like my butt's on fire. Your butt's on fire because you're getting stronger from this challenge. Because you can and you will heal. Stay with me. Almost there. At least you don't have to do any more push-ups. Uh, unless you repeat this video again. Which, in which case, you will do more push-ups. Hold it. We're almost there. And, whoo! Carefully lay on your back. Carefully, carefully. You're going to take your hands behind your knees. Scoop your shoulders down and back. And lean back with a strong tummy. Reach your arms forward. Okay. We're here. We're holding. And if you can, bring the arms a little bit closer and higher. So you can see either here, easier, up here, a little bit harder. Take your right hand, twist it open, open that chest, and center. And just alternate. Big twist. You know why I love this exercise? It opens my shoulders and chest. And now that I've been working on this Hurt Foot Fitness course, I've been behind a computer a lot. So my chest and shoulders are really tight. And my body appreciates this movement. Can you dig a little deeper into those obliques? Oh my goodness. Yes, I can. Keep breathing. Smiling is very advanced, remember. Add that in if you feel like an extra challenge. Stay with me, almost there. Two and one. Are you burning in those abs yet? Can you lean a little back? Now we're gonna do what I call the cha-cha. You ready? We cha, cha, cha. Because one thing I found that helps with injury is dancing. Random acts of dancing. You don't have to use your feet to dance. You can dance right now. Cheer yourself up. Put on some funky hip hop or whatever gets you going. And just make yourself your own dance party. It will help, my friends, on those down days, on those days where you feel like you're not going to make it. You put on some music and you do the cha cha or the humpty hump or whatever you got in your dance moves. Hold it, come back, Whew. go a little lower, scoop your tummy in, shoulders head back. Stay with it, we're almost there. Deep breath in. Like we always finish, V for victory arms. Hold it, say to yourself, I'm so proud of you for showing up, for healing, for taking it one day at a time, and for staying strong. Deep breath in. Okay, lay all the way down. Whew. You made it, and you're amazing. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a hug. This is the best part. You get to tell yourself, self, I'm so grateful that you're here, you're healthy, you're alive, and you're in this moment right now. I want you to know that injury or not, every day is a gift, and you can choose to make it great. Take a deep breath in. 
and out. Roll to your side and slowly sit up. All right, my friend, how do you feel? I want you to let me know in the comments below how your body and mind feel after this video. You did amazing, and I know how hard injury can be. I want you to stay strong, stay positive, and keep moving in the ways you can. Always focus on what you can do and stay in the moment. Take it one day at a time, and your body will heal. Again, stay tuned for all the details on how to join my Hurt Foot Fitness online coaching course. You'll get everything from a hundred different workouts and exercises. To nutrition, to stress, to digestion, to sleep, that will help you in healing your body and coming through this time with positivity, wisdom, and strength. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. I appreciate you more than you know, and I can't wait to share another great workout on YouTube with you.